so I will talk about um, internet delivered treatment for depression. Depression, uh, I will not go into details about it. I guess you all have some basic knowledge about what, is, what it is. Uh, but it is a disease that is associated with high costs, both on a society level, but also um, uh, it, it, it involves um, high personal suffering. And depression is an increasing problem worldwide. Uh, more and more people are affected, uh, and it's described as the single largest contributor to disabilities. And as more and more people um, are suffering from depression, uh, more and more people need treatment for depression. And uh, it's quite unbalanced. It's a, it's a gap uh, where there is more people in need for uh, treatment than there are available treatment. Um, and another thing that is increasing is uh, the number of people with access to internet. So worldwide, more and more people get access. Uh, smartphones and um, new devices get uh, really popular even in, in developing countries. So when we have more and more people with internet and more and more poor people with the, the need for treatment, uh, internet delivered treatment is um, it's a, a possible solution. To deliver um, treatment over internet have uh, many advantages. Uh, one of them is that distances doesn't matter so much. You could live in a remote desert in Australia and um, it could be really problematic to, um, to travel to a therapist. It could be expensive and it could take a lot of time. But if the treatment is delivered through internet, uh, you could um, do it from home. Uh, it's also estimated that um, when um, we have uh, internet delivered treatment, that more patients, uh, um, each therapist could have more patients in treatment at the si same time. You could also lower the threshold. Uh, it's easier for people to, um, to, to start treatment when they could do it from home. And you could also um, offer treatment to patients that aren't so severely depressed. And of course, uh, during the last years, we have seen that it is good to have uh, options when physical meetings are not possible. So what is internet delivered treatment for depression? Uh, it's a lot of things. Uh, if you just Google it, you will get a lot of different treatment options or things that are called treatment. Uh, it could be everything from um, truly tested uh, uh, programs that where you have had um, a, a large study with the control condition and published in a peer-reviewed uh, journal. And then you could find things like um, a, that a call the treatment, but it's that you get an email a day with an inspiring quote. So it's a lot of different things, but um, some common features in what we typically um, call um, uh, internet delivered treatment for depression is that uh, it lasts for several weeks, um, typically uh, about three months, but there are some interventions that are shorter and there are uh, other interventions that are really long. Typically, the, uh, the programs are based on lessons and modules where you get access to one module and when you have completed it, you get access to the next and the next module could build upon the first module and so on. Um, yeah, uh, typically um, the goal of the treatment are to learn, uh, the patients should learn some skills uh, and get some tools uh, to cope with um, the problems. Typically, it could be um, some relaxation techniques or other skills. Uh, and these tools should help the patient both during the treatment, but also should be something they could use after the treatment. 
the content uh, in an um, internet delivered treatment for depression is often um, um, distributed or um, yeah, it's, it's often uh, reading a lot of text that the patients read to get these instructions about the, the skills they should learn. It could be text and it could also be short videos, it could be pictures and listening tasks and so on. Um, and often um, a common feature of this, uh, these programs is that they com are compromised of some tasks and assignments that the patients should do. These tasks could, could be um, just listening tasks and it could also be uh, some activities you should do in your everyday life and it could be more uh, thinking experiments. It could be that you should write down some personal goals and discuss it with your therapist. And then we have um, a distinction between two formats. Uh, one is the guided, uh, therapist guided treatment format and we have uh, the unguided treatment format. So in the guided uh, treat treatment format, uh, you have a therapist that uh, you are in contact with during the treatment. And this contact could be regularly, it could be upon request, um, it could be uh, once a week, it could be when once you have completed some tasks, uh, there, there is a lot of different um, methods here. Uh, and in the unguided treatment format, you don't have this therapist contact. Typically, the, the therapist contact is through a chat function, but it could also be physical meetings, it could be phone, or it could be video conferencing tools. Um, yeah, so um, in, in what we call internet delivered treatment for depression, it's not like one single uh, treatment approach. Um, th this format can be used for many approaches. So we did a scoping review recently, uh, and in that review we had 111 studies uh, with a guided, therapist-guided format. And that, what we found was that most of the studies was based on cognitive behavioral therapy. Uh, which is uh, a, a kind of a gold standard treatment for depression, regardless of treatment format. Uh, and we found a lot of studies using problem solving therapy and a lot of study that used behavior activation and, and other treatment approaches was also used. So the most interesting question is, of course, if um, this treatment works uh, and during the last five, six years, um, it has been published a lot of meta studies and it shows promising effects. Uh, it seems to be effective, uh, but um, it's not the right treatment option for every patient. And um, as it is with all treatment, it's not, you, you will not um, have an effect on every patient. And uh, as with all therapy, there are some challenges. Um, it doesn't matter if you have great content uh, in the treatment, if the usability is poor. It has to be um, quite easy to use for the patients and it has to be quite easy to use for the therapist. Uh, it, could be, it has to be um, kind of intuitive uh, designed. Uh, and of course, adherence is a problem. Uh, we see that uh, in, in therapist-guided studies, there seems to be better treatment adherence than there are in um, unguided uh, treatment programs. And uh, an internet-delivered treatment put quite high demands on the patients. They need to structureize, uh, they need to uh, set, set aside time to do this. They have, have to uh, clear the schedules uh, and if they are busy with uh, small children and a lot of to do at work or exams and so on, there is uh, a problem that they um, drop out of the treatment. And of course, some of the characteristics of the uh, symptoms of depression um, 
with lack of motivation and um, initiative is problematic in this highly patient-driven treatment format. And um, there are also some demands on the therapists. Uh, I have spoken to several therapists and they all um, explain that uh, it's, they need to have this kind of encouraging, uh, motivate, motivating role. Uh, but uh, it's difficult to find a balance between being motivating and being nagging, <laughs> like a mom that uh, nags on a child to, to clean his room. So uh, it's, it's quite difficult to find the balance. And of course, they, even if the therapist could have more patients in treatment at the same time, they uh, need to have the time. They need to have the time to uh, work with the patients. Uh, and uh, they also want to have some kind of relation uh, to the patient. So even if the mm, contact is only through messages, they want to have fee provide feedback that feels relevant and right for the, for the particular patient. So it's, it's quite demanding to be a therapist in this format.